Hello and welcome back. In today's quick video, let's have a look on how we can create a ripple effect similar to the Photoshop ripple filter. Affinity does have a ripple filter, however it is more of a ripple in a water than a ripple of individual lines. Let me show you what I mean with this test document. As always, let's duplicate the existing group so we can work on a copy and keep the source intact. The ripple filter is available as a live filter, so I can add it from the live filter button in the channels panel or from the layer menu. Let me add it and see how the ripple filter behaves. If I increase the intensity, you notice what I mean. It ripples everything from a center point. I can click on the canvas to change the center point, but for the ones who know Photoshop, this is not the same effect as the ripple filter in Photoshop. Let me quickly remove this filter and instead apply the distort equation filter. Sadly, this is a destructive filter and I really wish Affinity will make this a live filter in the future versions of Affinity Photo. By using the equations filter, we can mimic the ripple filter of Photoshop. I'm going to copy and paste the formulas for X and I. The formulas will also be in the description below. Basically, we apply a sign function to the X and the I position. Using the three parameters A, B and C, I can now adjust the strength and the frequency for the desired effect. As you see, this creates a ripple on the lines itself and mimics the ripple filter from Photoshop. Pretty awesome! As a bonus tip, you can set the angular units to degrees. This creates a more of a waving flag effect. As mentioned, this is a destructive filter. So, after I apply the filter, my group is converted to a pixel layer. Let me apply the ripple wave to the UN flag just for fun. Cool, we got ourselves an animating flag. Anyway, I hope you liked this short video and don't forget to hit the like button if you did. Thanks for watching and until the next video. Keep safe and keep being creative.